I am excited, folks. I'm excited because I just received in the mail my comic trading packs for tomorrow's Whatnot show. These are the latest comic trading packs from Whatnot, including all of the hottest books, the new releases from Marvel. And we're going to go over all the details of what these packs include. And then we're going to talk also about how the last sale went and how the last packs are currently performing after all of the hype and everything. Talk about how they're different, how they're the same, what I like about these and all of that. But I want to preface this by saying, collect what you love. I know that there is a mixed bag of people that watch this channel. There's people that collect only vintage comics. There's people that collect only modern variants covers that watch this channel and ultimately it's up to you to decide what you like to collect and you know the saying is live and let live like let's bring that to the, com the comic book community and say collect and let collect you know if other people want to buy these and you don't more power to them and if you want to buy these and others don't more power to you and one thing's for sure I really like these I there's something about the pack nature the whole idea of you know trading card packs and comic book packs the possibility of getting the hit for me it's exciting i also enjoy gambling you know i'm a little bit of a gambler i do like to go to vegas and and dabble a little bit within reason you know i, I, I don't you know endanger my livelihood or cause any kinds of problems in my life and that's a big point is you know it, with anything like this with gambling or or trading cards with pokemon with comic book trading packs, you know, collect responsibly, you know, you make sure that you're staying within your limits and all that. But with all that considered, it can be a lot of fun. And it certainly was a lot of fun on the last stream when we were able to rip them open and to get those hits. And so let's talk a little bit about what the last packs were and what these packs are, because I believe that these packs are way better than the last packs. So let's look at the last packs. The last packs were these X-Men 97 packs. I'm here on eBay. Somebody has some listed, which is an interesting thing to note. You will be able to buy these on eBay later, but it seems like eBay is a little bit of a premium. It seems like you can actually get them for a little bit less uh, over on Whatnot. And if you do want to buy them on Whatnot, my stream is going to be Friday starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. There's a link in the description of this video. You can get $15 towards your first purchase. So if you're new, you can get $15 off one of these packs. But there's also going to be, I think, like hundreds of other sellers that have these. Um, and the big release date is Friday. So you'll be able to buy them from all kinds of different sellers if you can't make my show. And you'll also be able to buy them on eBay, inevitably. Some people will relist them on eBay as, you know, complete sealed product. And other people will list the individual variants on eBay. And so here's the last pack. It was for X-Men 97. And it included all of these different variants. So there was Trade Dress. There was Virgin. There was Silver Foil, Gold Foil, and then Signed by the Artist. So there was four different variants. And each, and then there was four different versions of those variants. So 20 different variants to collect. Now, that's if you consider the signed ones a different variant. It's actually the same variant as the gold foil. It's just signed by the artist. So that's one thing that I thought, you know, it was cool and everything to get a signature from the artist, but you can get anything signed by an artist at a con. So you could have got the gold foil and got it signed. So these ones, I think, are a lot better. So let's talk about how these are performing on eBay. So like this one, the first thing that I've noticed on these is that there is a lot listed on eBay for sale. So you've got like people that are listing like the silver foil here listed for 140. You've got sealed packs listed for around 160 to 180 and all the different variants. And there's a lot of them. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of listings regarding these packs. But the important thing is to come over here to the side and go on sold items. So in my whatnot stream, they were the packs were selling for around 150 to 200 dollars, I believe. They kind of varied in between there. I also offered mylar um, bags and full back boards for mine. So if you 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 have the option to either rip or ship just like with pokemon cards so people um, that won the auction had the option to just have the sealed product shipped to them or you could rip it right there on camera and see what you got because some people might be chasing the different variants inside and they'll stop when they get the ones that they want so you have the option to rip or ship and i think i even did another thing where i threw in a free slap yeah i did do that if in my stream if you decided to rip it on camera and you did not get 
one of the chase variants, I threw in a free slab for you. And I'm sure we're going to do something similar in my show tomorrow. But here we go to the sold listings to see how these are selling. So this is the trade dress, just the regular best offer accepted for $35. Here's a sealed pack that sold for $150. And that was to, uh, a couple days ago. Another sealed pack sold for 170, sealed pack for 122, sealed pack for 150. So right around 150, sealed pack for 200. So right around what they were selling on my stream, and this is way after the stream. So they're performing well. Here's one. Here's the the signed gold foil, and this one sold for 400 dollars. The Segovia signed gold foil. So tons of sales for these books. And it seems like the sealed product is like holding value, you know, and that's that's something that was very interesting to me. I just didn't realize how many sealed product collectors there are. And I think it's great, you know, to collect what you love. And if you love to collect sealed product, then that's great. And that brings up a good question on this. So these new packs are distributed in a box. So there's three packs inside of this box and inside each pack has three comics. So one box has nine comics. I'm curious what kind of premium the sealed box is going to have on the stream. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to sell them like that or if I can or if I can't, but uh, we'll see how it goes with the packs. But I am going to open this one because I want to see what's inside, what the actual packs look like. And we're definitely going to do some or most of them just as sealed packs. So when you open it up here, you open up the box, this little card that goes over it, and then you have the actual pack. So you have your three packs inside. They all have the same art on the packs, which is different than the last ones. The last ones had different art on the packs. All right, so let's go over what's inside this. I'll put this up on the screen. Comic Trading Packs Year in Marvel 24 Variant Foil Pack. The Year in Marvel 24 Variant Foil Pack is a whatnot exclusive comic trading pack containing a random selection of three unreleased variant foils covers of this year's hottest Marvel comics by renowned artists, including Marco Cicchetto, Sanford Green, and more. There's five foil variants per cover for a total of 25 variants printed in historically low print runs. So 25 total comics, every single comic in the pack is a foil. And then these are the five variants. You have Blood Hunt number one, you have Doom number one, you have Deadpool number one, you have Wolverine, uh, Deadpool, World War Three number one, and you have Ultimate Spider-Man number one. The two hits in here are gonna be the Doom number one, one and the ultimate spider-man number one those are the hottest releases of the year I, be I believe they're the hottest new releases of the year so for each one there's five different foil variants you got the standard foil which is limited to 1500 copies per cover which in itself is a low print run like typically for marvel if a retailer is going to do a foil cover they have to get 3000 so the reason that whatnot's able to do less is because they did this massive order you know like just dozens and dozens and dozens of exclusives throughout the year and so they get you know preferential treatment that's like away the world folks like that's how it works you spend more money you get you know other features and stuff so standard foil is limited 1500 silver foil is limited to a thousand the gold foil is limited to 300 the prism foil is limited to 175 and the marvel red foil is limited to 24 copies per cover and they break it down the ratios here so uh, a red foil is one in 42 packs so for the last packs it was a one in 15 i believe that you got a signed one but again the signed thing is like you could get your non-signed one signed these have much better chases and much better variants in my opinion i mean the other three the blood hunt the deadpool and the wolverine deadpool world war three you know, they're okay. But the Doom and the Ultimate Spider-Man 1, those are super hot titles. And in my opinion, those are way better as far as desirability than the X-Men 97. So that's why I think that these packs have potential to be worth more than the last ones. I mean, the only reason I could think that they wouldn't would be that people are tired or of, of the comic trading packs or that the whole hype around them has, has died off. But I don't think that's the case. I really don't think that's the case. I think they have better variants and better chases. So, you know, it would lead me to believe that these ones will be more valuable. Time will tell. I don't know what these are going to sell for. I don't know what they're going to be worth down the line. I because it's you know it's never been done before. Like so, sealed product. You know who who knows. So once again, you know, collect what you love. Collect what you know strikes your fancy. What you enjoy. This hobby is about enjoying stuff. I'm certainly going to try to incentivize people to open these on camera because I just think it would be exhilarating to pull like a red foil or something. I'm really curious to see 
what kind of values these prism foils and these red foils bring in the aftermarket. That's going to take some time to find out because I mean, we'll probably get some eBay sales right away for people that, you know, open their packs and are first to bring it to eBay. I'm sure the prism and red foils, especially for the doom and the ultimate Spider-Man are going to be super FOMO at first. So, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. If you can be patient on buying those, if you're, if you're chasing those, I I'm almost certain that it would behoove you to wait a little bit rather than buying the first ones to hit eBay. And then of course the true test of time is once they start getting graded and we start, you know, seeing the longevity of like how, how these hold value, it's going to be really interesting because there's going to be sealed product out there. So there's not going to be like, you know, all 24 of the red foils hitting CGC and, and being there on the census. I would imagine that it will be years. I would imagine that people will hold sealed product indefinitely and that not all of them will come to market in that sense. And then you start to wonder about the value of sealed product, right? So like if like a year or, or something goes by and there's only like five red foils of the doom number one on the census, does that increase the value of the sealed product? Like, are people going to be able to buy these tomorrow, starting tomorrow on a whatnot stream, hold these packs and then sell them for a premium on eBay down the line? Because, you know, not all of the uh, the chase variants have been, you know, in the market yet. Time will tell. I'm very curious to find out. I hope you guys are enjoying this hobby, enjoying comic collecting. Come by, if anything, and just hang out, watch it, see see how it goes down. Uh, you get to see some of these open up. Uh, if you use my link, you get $15 towards your purchase. I'll have stuff in the buy now for 15 bucks. You can pick up a free book. I try to make it an enjoyable time for everyone, even if you're not buying something. So I really hope to see you there. We also have uh, giveaways here on this YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a free slab. This month, we're giving away a top Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man. And if you head over to BryceComics.com, let's go check it out real quick. If you sign up for the newsletter at BryceComics.com, you're entered to win uh, Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man this month. And every single month, we're giving away a free slab. Look at this. You can get a Daredevil 27, 9.4, a 9.4 12 cent Daredevil for 250 bucks. I just uh, sent out a 20% off coupon code today. So you could have picked this up for $200. We did sell a lot of slabs today. We sold like over 100 slabs with that 20% off discount code. So Sign up for that newsletter. You'll get those discount codes. There's a Nether Realms uh, Spawn 306 variant, and we're constantly getting new stuff. New stuff is constantly hitting the website, and you'll get first notice notification through that newsletter. Thanks as always for sticking with me to the end of the video. Hope to see you on whatnot. Have a great weekend. Bye.